Namaste, so family sky goddess. Dear souls, day of the sun. Today, I can't believe it's October 10. And like Saturn is going direct today in the frequency of Aquarius. Okay, and I'm so excited about that. I just rem I, I remember it was just like yesterday anticipating Pluto going direct in the frequency of Capricorn. You know, as a matter of fact, it was just like yesterday I was actually anticipating um, the new moon in, in Libra. And, you know, which was the same day that Pluto went um, direct in the frequency of Capricorn. And, you know, once that day, you know, passed, well, the, the, the new moon, I think the new moon was, no, nah, I'm not sure what time that was. Um, but it was October 6th. And once Pluto's uh, transit went, you know, direct in the frequency of Capricorn, it was like, okay, I'm looking forward to Saturn's, you know, um, you know, transit going direct. And it is that day. And in a few days from now, you know, it's, 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 it's Jupiter that's going to go direct plus Mercury. How is this? Which is like yesterday that, you know, Mercury went, di uh, went retro in Libra. And there's just like a week left of the retrograde. And a lot of people has been, you know, coming to the surface in regards to the retrograde, thinking over things, thinking over things we've, you know, we, we heard, things were, that were said, things, you know, that we've seen in the public, things that, you know, just things, you know, help, you know, connections, relationships, you know, contracts, whether, you know, um, intimate contracts, sexual contracts, you know, executive contracts, but contracts, okay? People are realizing that the justice system, with also Mars going, you know, direct in, Mars actually, you know, transited the frequency of Libra. People are really watching the justice system, justice system, and they're seeing that it's very ineffective. And we, we're not, you know, being served. We're not being protected, okay? And, you know, people, they're, you know, they're, um, drafting up their conclusions but I, what i want to talk about before i you know start talking about um uh saturn going direct today and um libra retrograding and uh, mercury retrograding in libra is i want to talk about the attack that's on our children in sp specific our children and this topic is let me just say beforehand beware it's, it's a bit disturbing okay okay some of the things that i'm going to be discussing in this video are going to be disturbing okay now there is a mass pedophilia that's taking place and go ahead and listen to my fifth house in scorpio on the gray witch channel okay the title is such the fifth house, fifth house in Scorpio, okay? And that's for this 12-year transit. A lot come into light. The sooner and the quicker you are to accept this truth is the sooner you will pinpoint these negative low vibrational things taking place in and around your life, okay? Um, so you have to be careful when relatives, and when I say relatives, I'm not talking about also including but not just restrictive to um your immediate family and your immediate family once you are 18 years and older is you your your spouse and your kids when i say relatives i refer to your mother your mothers your fathers your your sisters your brothers cousins aunts dumb people once you are an adult 18 years and older in some in some some countries 21 years and older you are a single membered family until you take on to yourself a wife or a husband and you start to procreate or you adopt children and them children they, and your spouse they become your immediate family now done with the crap and stop you know misusing words and shit so a lot of times when relatives okay reach out to you or they start some BS to try to hold on to your children. You have to be careful. 
whether you're wealthy or not because a lot that's why you don't the law especially here in Jamaica is very sad because you have um, some of these people having the audacity to want wanting to take away people's children to give to other people because they seemingly are more financially capable of rearing people's children when is it a crime to be poor why isn't there a system put in place to help and support you know struggling mothers and fathers who you know are single parents or you know who are guardians and le well legal guardians of their children why is it that the system rather than supporting you know parents who find it really hard to support their children financially why isn't it supporting helping these parents finding jobs for these parents stable homes for these parents why and taking our kids and giving them to people who are pedophiles because I've said this many times I get this weird ass vibe they're pedophiles in this house and they have my kids inside and that's why I'm so keen and watch watchful of my kids I ask them all the time did anybody touch you here or there did anybody tell you to put your mouth here or there because sometimes you got to really really be repetitive because sometimes they see these people they buy stuff for them they, they buy toys they buy this and they buy that for them and they think that these people they love them and so when they do certain things to them or tell them to do certain things they're not thinking to say okay you know they tell them okay it's a secret that's how those pedophiles they, they think yeah that's how these pedophiles they think they're very twisted and manipulative and they love to use their monies as a means of power over these children that's how they get to molest our children and so our children they tend to think oh these people they care about us they don't mean us any harm they buy food for us they buy clothes for us they clothe us they feed us they they give us toys so these people couldn't possibly mean us any harm though they're telling us to put our mouths on their genitals or they're you know inserting stuff in our you know in their behinds and you know or you know vagina for the girls and we need to we really 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 need to scrutinize completely and thoroughly these decisions that are being made in regards to the justice systems okay because at the end of the day a lot of these justice systems these justice you know these 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 agencies government agencies they're a part of what's taking place they're a part of the the children trafficking rings why you think there isn't a you know a full closer to a lot of things that are taking place them coming to a sudden end that's because systems that are supposed to be supporting us helping us aiding us in putting an end to violence against our children sexual abuse and physical abuse and all of that they're also part of the problem they too are the culprits and a lot of people are going to discover because I got up this morning and I got this strong sense of something really nasty despicable and toxic there are children who are being molested behind closed doors and these people and you got to be careful of a lot of children who you know all of a sudden turn up dead because these are the abusers trying to silence these children and so there should be thorough forensic investigations done in children who you know suddenly fall ill suddenly die suddenly die in their sleep thorough thorough forensic investigations we need to put an end the children are the future if there are no more children there's no more future for humanity it's, it's it it ends here and I got also a message I don't trust these people I don't trust them somebody in that house or they're all pedophiles they're doing something to my kids and I, it's not the first time I said this and I'm saying this again and I'm telling you, you know the police they got a lot to do with what's going on 
Plus, a lot of these people, they cover up what they're doing with sorcery. Yeah, that's heavy here in Jamaica. Yeah. And so when they do their sorcery, it's as though they seemingly get away with a lot. But for how long? 10-10. I just saw that on my phone. I'm not watching the time. 10-10. Today's 10-10. That means a lot because guess what? A lot is going to be exposed. From this day forward, a lot is going to be exposed. These pedophiles, they're going to be put to shame. You watch, you listen, you watch, you just watch what's going to happen. Take heed to my words. Before October comes to an end, before October 2021 comes to an end, a lot is going to be revealed. A lot of people are going to, the truth is going to be manifested. Yeah, it's going to, it's going to come to light. That's what I mean. It's going to come to light. Okay. A lot of these people are pedophiles, even celebrities, even of the feminine energy. Who's got little girls, little boys around them, molesting them. They're sadists. A lot of them are very sadistic. Because there's this, this very prominent, famous, reputable, international female celebrity who's got a child of a family member, a cousin in her midst. She's very wealthy and she's very famous and she's molesting that child. Yeah, that's what I picked up on from the astral plane. She's molesting that little girl. It's a little girl. She has a, an addiction and, a, and, a, and an affinity to children. They're people with them aspects. And so it's, just, it's so easy sometimes. Not everybody possessing them aspects are like that. But it takes great self-control, having certain aspects, not giving in to certain dark energies, if you get what I mean. And so it's easy to pinpoint pedophiles. It is easy to pinpoint rape. Uh, R-A-P-I-S-T, my apologies, okay? It's so easy to pinpoint them. It's easy. You see their natal aspects. And I'm not going to list them aspects. If the justice system really wants to serve the people, if you have an issue and you really need a support system, someone who really knows, you know, the aspects like myself, to bring somebody to justice who you know is up to no good, who you know is doing harm to, you know, your kids or your child. There's a way we can expose them. Okay? You just hit me up. My number is below. Okay, send me a text first, like I always say, so I can know who is trying to reach out to me and so I can prepare. I'm screening my calls. So, you send me your name. I... X, Y, Z, you, you need, you know, assistance in regards to a case relating, you know, um, R-A-P-E, you know, um, pedophilia, um, even if it is murder, because these, these are aspects that people possess. Not everybody is capable of murder. Yeah, self-defense kind of murder, but like aggravated murder, where in which, you know, the kind of murder where they 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 take it upon themselves to just do or you know you know because they're upset they they just do that in the heat of the moment yeah not everybody does that a lot of us we will take the path of least resistance there's some people they will never do that they believe you know in you know death and destruction and so for them they'll always avenge in a very very destructive manner which is to destroy kill and you know attack so they will definitely you know kill and destroy that's you know some people's motto where you know karma is concerned they don't believe in waiting for you know people to get their judgment they take judgment in their own hands okay but let's you know 
talk about this. Yeah, start observing the people around your children, even your mothers, even your fathers, your sisters, your brothers, your friends, your, your colleagues, your associates, your co-workers. Observe them, okay? It don't really matter whether they're really nice to them or they pretend like they don't even see them, whether they acknowledge them or not. Because people, these pedophiles, they each have their own tactics. They have the, their own ways of doing their, or, or, or you know, um, executing their perverted ways. Sometimes some of them, they will pretend. I tap into the collective conscious. I tap into the Akashic Records like nobody's hidden from me. Sometimes they pretend as though they don't even see your kids. So that will throw that will throw you off. Sometimes they are really nice to them. So that's their way of throwing you off, you know. But they've got their own tactics. And that's in their natal chart. They think they're slick. No. You are very much vulnerable. They're very much vulnerable because of their aspects. Knowledge is power. And there are a lot of these people who they who pretend to be advocates for our children. They're seemingly, I said that, that, you know, some of these government agencies, they pretend to be children advocates, even individuals. People who are also seemingly activists, they pretend that they got our children's best interests at heart. They don't. Okay, because behind closed doors, they're also pretty participate, participating in these, you know, vicious, you know, um, perverted acts. Okay, so lesson here, do not underestimate anybody. Anybody is capable of anything. And that's going to be a major lesson for this 12-year cycle. Never underestimate anybody. Anybody is capable of doing anything. Okay, I believe that there is. I'm going to come back with that, you know, uh, retrograde um, video, uh, Mercury's retrograde in Libra when it goes direct and Saturn going direct today. Namaste. And of course, subscribe, like, share, and donate.